Welcome to the longest running quiz show in the area. Categories. High school students compete to answer questions on topics from art to science, history to current events. And now, here's your Categories host, John Bartell. Hi, welcome to Categories. Today we're bringing you a late season matchup between the Blue Valley West Jaguars and the Shawnee Mission South Raiders. Let's go ahead and meet our contestants first from West. I'm Emery and I'm a junior. I'm Sean and I'm a senior. I'm Chandler and I'm a senior. I'm Curtis and I'm a senior. And I'm Abby and I'm a senior. And our contestants from South. Hi, I'm Josiah and I'm a junior. Hi, I'm Max and I'm a senior. I'm John, I'm a sophomore. All right, here on Categories in the first round, we will take turns answering questions. If a team responds correctly, they earn a point. If they respond incorrectly, the other team will get a chance to steal. We did a coin toss before we started taping. It was won by West. And so you get the first question. Jaguars, the first category is ancient history. In 429 BC, about half the population of this great city perished in an epidemic of plague. Among those spared was the doctor Hippocrates. What city suffered this fate? Emery? Athens. It is Athens. Over to South with U.S. geography. For what two famous people was Washington, D.C. named after? Time on that. West, a chance to steal this U.S. geography question. For what two famous people was Washington, D.C. named after? Sean. George Washington and Christopher Columbus. Those are the two. Back to you, Jaguars, with music, this time albums. A 42, member, uh, 42 members of the London Symphony were heard in the song A Day in the Life on which Beatles album? I need the full name. Raiders, chance to steal this music albums category. 42 members of the London Symphony are heard in A Day in the Life on which Beatles album? I do need the full name. with Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Raiders, botany is your category. Are grasses usually pollinated by wind, water, birds, or insects? Max. Wind. It is wind. Back to you, Jaguars, with children's literature. According to the Anderson fairy tale, how was a real princess to be distinguished? Sean? She would be uncomfortable by sleeping on a pee. That is exactly what we're looking for. Raiders, back to you with sports. Hank Aaron hit 755 home runs. How many round trippers did Babe Ruth hit? Time on that. West, your chance to steal the sports category. Hank Aaron hit 755 home runs. How many round trippers did Babe Ruth hit? Sean. 926. Close. 714. Okay. 714. Jaguars coming back to you with science. Which component of the atmosphere shows the greatest percentage of variation? Is it, it, is it argon, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, oxygen, or water vapor? Sean. Carbon dioxide? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Raiders, chance to steal this science question. Which component of the atmosphere shows the greatest percentage of variation? Is it argon, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, oxygen, or water vapor? Max. Nitrogen? It's actually water vapor. Hmm. Water vapor with the humidity and so forth. Raiders, we do come back to you with economic theories. Marxist theory regards conflict between members of different socioeconomic groups as inevitable. What is this concept called? John? Class struggle. Class struggle. West, back to you with current events. Name the anti-war group that attempted to make a citizen's arrest of a former Secretary of State, Henry Kissinger, during a Senate hearing before re being removed from the chamber. Curtis. 
Uh, Greenpeace. It is not Greenpeace. Raiders, chance to steal this current events question. Name the anti-war group that attempted to make a citizen's arrest of former, <clears throat> of former Secretary of State Henry Kissinger during a Senate hearing before being removed from the chamber. Max. The Anti-Imperialism League. I cannot accept that. We're looking for Code Pink. Code Pink. South, come back to you with a math question. Tell me the time of day when the standard digital clock displays four consecutive numbers. Max. 1234. It is 1234. Jaguars, back to you with vocabulary. People do this in horror, but guns do it when fired. What's the common verb? Curtis? Recoil. Recoil. U.S. History Raiders. What event prompted the installation of the Washington Moscow hotline? Max. The Cuban Missile Crisis. It is the Cuban Missile Crisis. Back to you, Wes. General knowledge. What color is alabaster, a variety of gypsum, gypsum used for statues? Am I right? White. It is white. South, economic, well, let's switch that. Sorry, mythology. Mythology, what story from Greek mythology was the ancestor of Romeo and Juliet? Max. Aeneas. I cannot accept that. Jaguars, chance to steal this mythology question. What story from Greek mythology was the ancestor of Romeo and Juliet? Pyramus and Thisbe, Pyramus and Thisbe. West, you get the economics question. The Federal Reserve System influences the economy by increasing or decreasing the rate, rate of growth of what? Curtis. Um, borrowed money. Borrowed money or money supply, very good. South, back to you with U.S. history. The name United States instead of United Colonies was authorized by the Second Continental Congress in what year? Max? 1776. That is the correct answer, 1776. Jaguars, science, anatomy. It is an irregular globe of moist jelly-like tissue that weighs about three pounds and contains more than 10 million nerve cells. What am I describing? Sean? The brain. It is the brain. Raiders, movies is your category. The 11 Oscars won by The Lord of the Rings tied a record held by two other films. Name either one. Max. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Cannot accept that. West, chance to steal this movie category. The 11 Oscars won by The Lord of the Rings tied a record held by two other films. Name either one of them. Chandler. Gone with the Wind. It is not gone with the wind. Titanic or Ben-Hur? Titanic or Ben-Hur? West, we do come back to you with world geography. In addition to Vietnam, name the two, uh, the two states that formed French Indochina. Show them. Laos and Cambodia. Those are the two. South, world geography again. If you gambled your money in Monte Carlo, what country would you be in? Max? France. It is not France. West, chance to steal this world geography question. If you gambled your money in Monte Carlo, what country would you be in? Curtis. Switzerland. It is not Switzerland. Monaco. Monaco. West, we do come back to you with general knowledge. Spanish for little strip. These little strips of meat are served sizzling on a platter. What are they called? Am I right? Fajitas. Fajitas. Raiders, you have a science question. What effect do tsunamis have on ships far out at sea? Josiah. No effect. There is no effect. West, coming back to you with literature. It's a fairly long category or long question, so please pay attention. This mysterious tale is recounted from the diary of a neurotic spinster who in her youth was a governess on a lonely British estate. 
her pupils, Miles and Flora, are subjected, she believes, to the evil influences of two ghosts, Miss Jessie and Peter Quint. Name this 1898 work by Henry James. Raiders, chance to steal this literature question. Once again, it's a fairly long question, so please pay attention. This mysterious tale is recounted from the diary of a neurotic spinster who, in her youth, was a governess on a lonely British estate. Her pupils, Miles and Flora, are subjected, she believes, to the evil influence of two ghosts, Miss Jessel and Peter Quint, named this 1898 work by Henry James. Turn of the screw, turn of the screw. Coming back to you, Raiders, with U.S. government. Today's Supreme Court has nine members. How many justices sat on the original court? John. Six. It is six. Back to you, West, with a vocabulary question. What seven-letter word, starting with M, is a synonym for seafarer? Curtis. Mariner. Mariner. Raiders, back to you, general knowledge. Slinky dresses are made of which fabric sewn through, sewn through with silver or gold thread? Time on that. West, chance to steal this general knowledge question. Slinky dresses are made of which fabric sewn through with silver or gold thread? Sean. Linen. It's not linen. It's lame. Lame. U.S. government, though, for you, Jaguars, is next category. In addition to the 12 appellate courts, the federal judicial system includes 95 of what other kind of court? Curtis. District courts. District courts. Very good. With that siren that does denote the end of our first half, and the score currently is Blue Valley West 11, Shawnee Mission South 7. At this time in our program, we are going to go to a campus update where we'll have a member from each school give us the uh, goings on of around their school. So first from West, we have Curtis. Curtis, what is happening with the Jaguars? Well, this weekend uh, we had our sweetheart dance. The uh, Jags always enjoy that. We also had three of our uh, forensic caters qualify to the state forensics tournament, which is a great achievement. Our uh, speech and debate program is very thrilled with that. Uh, about two weeks ago, actually, we had our um, we had our musical, which was Beauty and the Beast. Uh, it was uh, put on by both the drama department as well as. Uh, uh, the music, which is played by the band. And lastly, but probably mostly, we had uh, six presidential scholars, which was the most out of any Satan, out of any school, rather, in Kansas. So obviously, uh, the entire uh, student body of Blue Valley West is thrilled about that. That's awesome. That is it's really big news. That's oh, yeah. awesome. And South, looks like Max, you are giving us the update about the Raiders. So, what's happening over on 107th Street? Yeah, um, we're still in the middle of practicing for our uh, winter musical, Mary Poppins. Um, uh, our academic decathlon team uh, won state for the 15th year in a row and will be going to national sometime in April. Uh, and um, we had a lot of uh, state qualifiers for uh, state band, uh, choir, and orchestra. Also, we have um, four of the people from our dive team uh, qualified for state, and we recently got fourth at uh, districts. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. All right, as we head into our, before we head into our second half, we do have an update on our current standings as we head into the ending part of our season. As of right now, Blue Valley is at the top of the leaderboard with 4 and 0, with 61.4% of their questions answered correctly. Blue Valley West, who is in our game right now, is at 3 and 0, with 55.4% of their questions answered correctly. Third seed currently is Blue Valley Northwest at 3 and 1, with 55% of the questions correct, and rounding up our top four is Shawnee Mission West with a record of 2-1 and 48.5% and 
other questions answered correctly. All right, here we go. We're ready for the second round, and as tradition here in the second round, we will start with our look and listen question, which will be worth two points. We do have a monitor here in the studio for contestants here to participate. And just this reminder to the contestants that once I am finished reading the question, that's when you can ring in, and we are not allowed to stop and rewind the tape. Once someone rings in, we have to go from that spot. So here we go with our look and listen question. Name the two governing bodies who meet at this location. Max. Um, Parliament and the Prime Minister. I cannot accept that. West. Curtis. The House of Commons and the House of Lords. Those are the two we are looking for. Two points for West. As we continue here with our second round, it is the lightning round in which uh, either team may ring in to answer. If a team does respond incorrectly, the other team still gets a chance to steal. So here we go, both teams. The first category of the second round is current events. Name the female who won this year's Australian Open, earning her her 19th Grand Slam title. Hobby. Serena Williams. It is Serena Williams. Geography for both teams. There are only three wheat exporting countries in the Western Hemisphere. The United States and Canada are two of them. What is the third? Max. Argentina. Argentina. U.S. geography. What national park contains the best preserved prehistoric cliff dwellings in the United States? Emre. Mesa Verde. Mesa Verde. Nice job. Fine Arts Theater. What comedian wrote the Broadway hit, Don't Drink the Water? Woody Allen. Woody Allen. Science. Identify three forms of electromagnetic radiation that are relatively harmless to life. Max. X-ray, oh, <laughs> gamma ray, and uh, ultraviolet. I cannot accept that. Jaguars, chance to steal this science category. Identify three forms of electromagnetic radiation that are relatively harmless to life. Sean. Visible light, radio waves, and microwaves. I'm sorry, cannot accept that. Visible light and radio waves are two of them. Infrared, infrared is the third. Science, this time again, but this time it's chemistry. Any molecule of sulfur dioxide will have one atom of sulfur and two atoms of oxygen. According to what law of chemistry can we predict this with certainty? Bobby? Valence electron theory. I cannot accept that, sorry. South, chance to steal this science chemistry question. Any molecule of sulfur dioxide will have one atom of sulfur and two atoms of oxygen. According to what law of chemistry can we predict this with certainty? It's the law of definite proportions, law of definite proportions. Both teams, literature is the category, fairly long, so let's please pay attention. It starts with a quote. I don't try to describe the future, I try to prevent it. Is how he explains such works as death is a lonely business and a dark carnival and a medicine for melancholy. Name this science fiction writer. Emery? Arthur C. Clarke. It is not Arthur C. Clarke. Raiders, chance to steal this literature question, starts with a quote. I don't try to describe the future, I try to prevent it. Is how he explains such works as death as a lonely business, and a dark carnival, and a medicine for melancholy. Name this science fiction writer. Max. Ray Bradbury. It is Ray Bradbury. Sports for both teams. Five months after his legendary father died in a race car accident at, the Daytona, Be at Daytona Beach, Florida, this NASCAR driver, Chandler. Dale Earnhardt Jr. That is correct. Economics is the next category. Taxes, to be specific. Name the tax imposed on the property of a deceased person passed on to the heirs. Avi? Estate tax. Estate tax or inheritance tax, either one. 
language for both teams. Literally, it means clear seeing. It's the ability to see an object. Curtis. Clairvoyance. Clairvoyance. Military history for both teams. American warships during World War II were fitted with a degaussing apparatus. Is that a kind of life raft? Protection against magnetic mines? Multiple anti-aircraft battery? Or wireless communication set? Curtis. Protection against magnetic mines. That is the correct response. General knowledge for both teams. Name a spice whose oil is an effective remedy for toothache pain. Curtis. Cinnamon. Cinnamon is not the answer we're looking for. South, you have a chance to steal this general knowledge question. Name a spice whose oil is an effective remedy for toothache pain. Max. Peppermint. I'm sorry, we're looking for clove. Clove. Science is the next category for both teams. What is the name of the coil of wire which produces current in a generator and torque in an electric motor? Sean. Tesla coil. I cannot accept Tesla coil. Raiders, you have a chance to steal this science question. What is the name of the coil of wire which produces current in a generator and torque in an electric motor? Looking for armature, armature. Music theory for both teams. C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, E sharp, F, F sharp, G, G sharp is an example of a musical scale that progresses by half tones. Sean? Chromatic. Chromatic is the exact answer we're looking for. Fine arts, ballet. What is the proper translation of Le Sacre du Printemps? Chandler? The Rite of Spring. The Rite of Spring. Language, definitions. Give the term for a bursting inward. Sean. Implosion. Implosion, very good. U.S. geography for both teams. Name the chief seaport on the New Hampshire coast. It is named after Great Britain's chief. Emory? Portsmouth. Portsmouth. Sports slash games is the next category for both teams. Chess is played on a board of 64 squares and uses seven types of pieces. This other game is played on a board of 225 squares and uses 27 different types of pieces, one of which is a blank tile. Name this popular board game. Chandler? Scrabble. It is Scrabble. <coughs> Philosophy for both teams. Socrates was sentenced to death and forced to drink what poison? Bobby? Hemlock. Hemlock. General knowledge for both teams. Wild Bill Hickok was holding his poker hand when he was shot in the back and has since been called Dead Man's Hand. It only contains two kinds of cards. What are they? Chandler? A king and a two. I'm sorry, can I accept that? South, chance to steal this a general knowledge question. Wild Bill Hickok was holding his poker hand when he was shot in the back and has since been called Dead Man's Hand. It contains two kinds of cards. What are they? John? Two and three. It's not twos and threes, it's aces and eights. Aces and eights. Spelling is the next category. Defined as something that irritates, angers, or excites. Spell provocation. Show them. P-R-O-V-O-C-A-T-I-O-N. That is correct. World history for both teams. Upon their first meeting, Golda Meir said she didn't know if they would win the Nobel Peace Prize, but they should both be up for an Oscar. What historic meeting was she commenting on? Emery? Camp David Accords. Camp David Accords, very good. U.S. history for both teams. Although Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence and Benjamin Franklin, Benjamin Franklin was the elder statesman, who was the president of the Continental Congress when it was adopted? Max. Sam Adams. Sorry, that is incorrect. Jaguars, chance to steal this U.S. history question. Although Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence and Benjamin Franklin was the elder statesman, who was the president of the Continental Congress when it was adopted? Curtis. George Washington. It was not George Washington, it was John Hancock. John Hancock. 
U.S. history, this time presidents. This starts with a quote. I made my mistakes, but in all my years of public life, I never profited. Curtis. Richard Nixon. It is Richard Nixon. Sports for both teams. In baseball, a player wins the triple crown if he leads the league in home runs, batting average, and runs batted in. However, in horse racing, the triple crown involves winning of what three major horse races? The Kentucky Derby, the Preakness, and the Belmont Stakes are those three. British history for both teams. The official residence of English crowned heads is Buckingham Palace. Who was the first to occupy it? Time on that. Victoria. Victoria was the first. Literature for both teams. What 19th century American novel ends with this line from a youthful narrator? Here it is. I swum out and got on board and was mighty glad to see home again. Max. Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. That is correct. Science for both teams. The primary organ of a plant for transpiration and, and photosynthesis is what? Sean. The uh, leaf. The leaf, very good. Theater for both teams. This George Bernard Shaw play opens with an incredibly long prologue spoken at the Temple of Ra in Memphis. Caesar and Cleopatra. World geography for both teams. The English Channel separates England from France, but what body of water lies between England and the Netherlands? Sean. The uh, North Sea. The North Sea. U.S. government for both teams. Federal legislation is frequently bland and non-controversial. The bland Allison Act, however, was quite controversial and had to be passed over President Hayes' veto. What commodity did the bland Allison Act require the U.S. to purchase? Curtis. Silver. It is silver. And with that correct response, that brings your score up to 31. And the final score is Blue Valley West 31, Shawnee Mission South 10. Please join us again here on Categories as we continue to bring you the best and brightest minds of high school students all throughout Johnson County.